Welcome back, Big Shoes. Chapter 6, The Wise Man, Pendita. If you see a man who shows you what it is to be avoided, who administers reproofs and is intelligent, follow the wise man as you would one who tells of hidden treasures. It will be better, not worse, for him who follows him. Let him admonish, let him teach, let him forbid what is improper. He will be beloved of the good, by the bad he will be hated. Do not have evildoers for friends. Do not have low people for friends. Have virtuous people for friends. Have for friends the best of men. He who drinks in the law lives happily with a serene mind. The sage rejoices always in the law, as preached by the elect Ariyas. Well makers lead the water, whoever they like. Fletchers bend the arrow, carpenters bend a log of wood, wise people fashion themselves. As a solid rock is not shaken by the wind, wise people falter not amidst blame and praise. Wise people, after they have listened to the laws, become serene, like a deep, smooth, and still lake. Good men, indeed, walk warily under all circumstances. Good men speak not out of a desire for sensual gratification. Whether touched by happiness or sorrow, wise people never appear elated or depressed. If, whether for his own sake or for the sake of others, a man wishes neither for a son, nor for wealth, nor for lordship, and if he does not wish for his own success by unfair means, then he is good, wise, and virtuous. Few are there among men who arrive at the other shore, become arats. The other people here run up and down the shore. But those who, when the law has been well preached to them, follow the law, will pass over the dominion of death, however difficult to cross. A wise man should leave the dark state of ordinary life and follow the bright state of the bhikshu. After going from his home to a homeless state, he should, in his retirement, look for enjoyment where enjoyment seemed difficult. Leaving all pleasures behind and calling nothing his own, the wise man should purge himself from all the troubles of the mind. Those whose mind is well grounded in the seven elements of knowledge, who without clinging to anything, rejoice in freedom from attachment, whose appetites have been conquered, and who are full of light, they are free even in this world. Let us all contemplate chapter six, the wise man, my fellow bhikshus.